Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Yes, I actually made another video today. Uh, 10 amazing tips about selling at craft shows and maker's markets. Now, a lot of you are going to do a maker's market. You absolutely should watch it. Uh, this is something I know a little bit about. And uh, like and subscribe and all that. But today we're talking about the new X-Tool P2 that's going to be coming out. And I, I really figured, you know, on my channel, I try and let everybody know everything about lasers because I think about it all day long. I might as well pass it on. And I mentioned, I think about a month ago, that uh, they announced that uh, they were going to make a CO2 desktop laser, kind of in the vein of the Polar Pro 50 watt which is uh, about $3,200 right now. And of course the Glowforge, which is five grand, which I personally wouldn't recommend to anyone. Yes, it's a great machine, but you have to have internet connection and be in the cloud and all that to use it. I think this is the dumbest idea ever. And I just don't think you get what you're going to get for even a Polar Pro or a Geeky Cloud or whatever. But if you are looking at those, you might be looking at the X-Tool P2. Now it's 55 watts, five watts more than the uh, Polar Pro or whatever. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be running about $4,000 if you go through their hoops, you know, <laughs> that are pretty easy. You know, share it and make a deposit. You can even get more money off if you play their game with the, you know, this question or whatever. So... Another thing I noticed, I, I just thought this was a funny aside. Look at the Ortur site, and you look at the top of this and just how it's made with everything. It looks like it was made by the exact same people, I swear. Anyway, side note. So it's supposed to launch in about a month, and they're doing the pre-sale right now. So a lot of people are going to be thinking, you know, should I jump into this machine? Well, I wanted to go over all of this with you uh, little by little, and we will see what might or might not make sense for you. There are some red flags that jump out at me, but there's some other things that are really amazing. Uh, the first downside, and I'm going to say this, you know, also in comparison to not only a K40, which is insanely cheap, by the way. I mean, I you know, for under a thousand dollars, you're going to have a sixty watt CO two laser, but it's not going to have all the functionality that you're going to have with this, right? But you're going to pay. This is going to pay three times more. But just to do acrylic and to do your basic laser things and to learn how to use a CO two laser. You can't do much better than it's paying the $600 plus the ups and extras to having a K40. In my opinion, the Monport that is uh, light burn ready. But 26 by 14 inch. Okay, so that's going to be bigger than the K40, but it's not incredible. You know, it's a little over a foot by two foot. So think about what you're doing. You're not even getting the 400 millimeters that you'd be getting from a regular diode laser with the bed size. So is that going to help you? Yes, they have a pass-through. But just because they have a pass-through, you're still not going to be able to engrave a larger area than 26 by 14 without some real difficulty. It's 55 watts. So if you have, say, a 35-watt Aetzer, it's going to be roughly around the same power because you can only run about 60 to 70% power with a laser tube. So say you're getting 40 watts out of it. So if you're not doing acrylic, are you really doing any better for yourself than getting the, well, there are some downsides to the 40 watt uh, X tool. You know, it has a very wide beam. So the Acer seems to have a smaller beam so you're kind of getting the best of all worlds there with the V35. I just did the video about the 20 watt being in the sweet spot, which I, I really think it is. Just being able to get a thousand dollar machine that does, that cuts everything you kind of want. It, it's just really nice. And spending more money right now when, you know, I you can go with the video I just did about the 20 watt lasers. Things are changing so much in the laser space. 
I don't know how much money you want to devote, but you want to have a good enough machine where you can just get to work. But I, I'm certain this is going to be a very capable machine. It's going to be able to do some stuff the other ones can't. So it's something to keep an eye on. This is the video playing in the background right now. You know, 55 watt laser, dual smart cameras. So that's going to be very interesting because that is probably your one huge, huge, huge advantage of having this type of laser. Just being able to watch it through the computer screen and not have to lift up the lid to see where it's pointing and not have to set up your own camera. And this one's going to have a dual camera. So that's pretty cool. And Xtool has come out with some pretty innovative stuff. But at the same time, they've also come out with some stuff that's completely useless. You know, the infrared, you know, and they got everybody to try and buy that. And really, which is just a frequency change. And if you watch Louisiana Hobby Guy, you can see that that can be actually done in most of your lasers anyway. They're going to be compatible with the RA2 Pro, which... Is, I here is a very, very good uh, chuck system. You will have a you know higher engraving distance and be able to put some thicker stuff in there. Again, they have the pass through. That's pretty cool. I see it has a Z axis movement, but is that electronic? I didn't see that on the thing. So there's gonna be a lot more to learn about this and some reviews will be coming. I'm pretty sure they're just an embargo right now. So they're not allowed to talk about it. And so just like the 40 watt with X tool, I'm going to be talking about it first. I see the long range camera and a close range camera. I think that's going to be the real big selling point of this. A 16 megapixel times two. So that's probably going to be the thing. And there's really not any more information on it. So that's about what we get. But, uh, if you are in the market for that sort of labor, uh, laser, you were looking at the Geeky Cloud or the Glowforge or the Polar Pro, you might want to take a look at this. But I personally wouldn't be willing to pull the trigger till I get a little bit more information. All right, so quick video. Just wanted to point that out, and I'll see you in the next one.